My name is George Hansel and I'm running for counselor at large. My name is George Hansel and I'm currently serving as your counselor at large. This means I represent every citizen in Keene. Many of you have come to me with concerns or issues over the past two years. I consider it a great privilege to be your eyes, your ears, and your voice at City Hall. This city is in an important period of transition. We've recently hired a new city manager, set a course to help reduce our debt load, and started a comprehensive land use code update that will streamline the regulatory process. Despite some rumblings to the contrary, I'm supremely confident that Keene will continue to thrive, both economically and culturally. One of my primary initiatives over the past term was to develop a comprehensive economic development strategy. We did it, and several months ago the city published our Economic Development Action Plan. This detailed plan gives us a roadmap to attract new businesses, stimulate economic growth with development incentives, and engage every available resource to ensure that Keene has a voice at the table, and that we're able to communicate our message effectively outside of our borders. Part of my role as a counselor is being a cheerleader and advocate for Keene outside the region. Over the past two years, I've developed key relationships with the heads of several state departments. I have regular conversations with the state of New Hampshire's Commissioner of Economic Development and with Governor Sununu. Engaging the state in a proactive way is absolutely vital to them, to the Elm City's success. This is certainly an area where we've fallen short in the past. We've been politically isolated, and this has threatened our ability to get our fair share of state resources and attention. Beyond that, I'm a nuts and bolts guy. You probably won't see me bloviating at a council meeting about whatever divisive issue is getting national headlines that week. I tend to focus my efforts on improving processes and ensuring the council consistently makes good fiscal decisions that consider the long-term health of our community. I'm a co-owner and manager of a major manufacturer in town Filtrine Manufacturing, and I strive to take some of the lessons and principles that have made my company successful and apply them to my work in government. I care deeply about our city and its residents. I'm a Granite Stater, but early in my career I traveled all over the U.S. to just about every state. I can honestly say I wouldn't want to live anywhere else. The potential in this region is unusual. The capacity for our people is unusual. I often say that a group of 20 people in Keene with an idea can accomplish just about anything. We're so lucky to have that collaborative spirit. It's exciting. It's exciting to consider what we'll be able to accomplish in the next 10 years, in the next 20 years. I hope you'll allow me to continue to serve you in the next two by giving me, giving me your vote on October 3rd in the primary and November 7th in the general. My name is George Hansel, and it's an honor to serve as your counselor at large. Thank you. Hello, I'm John Therrell, running for counselor at large for Keene City Council. I live in the west side of Keene, and I really love this city. It's a little slice of New England heaven, and I want to help preserve that. Our city is large enough to have the amenities we need and want, yet small enough so the problems are largely manageable. A little bit about me. I'm a Navy veteran. I spent 30 years after the Navy in high-tech industry, uh, majority of the last 10 years in senior management. And I finished my career at Janos Technology right here in Keene. It's off Blackbrook Road uh, uh, near Route 12, um, making infrared optics. I'm married. I have three grown children, and they're off on their own, and now three grandchildren, which are a real joy. Keene is at a crossroads. We've had low growth for the balance of the last 20 years, both in population and in industry and commerce. Um, and that's what that's caused is an increase, ever growing increase uh, in the taxes that we, the, the, the people living in Keene, whether you're owning or renting, you pay taxes. Um, 
have had to bear. Um, we have a strong uh, city manager government, uh, which means the city council provides guidance to the city manager on how the uh, city should be run, and then the city manager largely carries out that guidance. And I believe that the city council should be guiding the city manager to provide required services as efficiently as possible. Now, what are those required services? First is safety. That's EMT, fire, and police. Second is sanitation, water, sewer, waste transfer. Third is infrastructure, roads, bridges, sidewalks, curbs, and in quite a few sections of Keene, flood control is a necessary infrastructure. Uh, the next is records. That would be things like uh, voting rolls, uh, land deeds, permits, uh, and compliance with city code. And finally, recreation. Uh, parks, certainly, but you know, cemeteries and the other kinds of facilities that provide quality of life to, to us in Keene. My business experience, uh, you know, over those these last uh, ten years as a senior executive, will help me make decisions that improve the efficiency year over year on the delivery of essential city services. That should lower our overall tax burden in future years. I'm willing, you know, I, I said I'm retired, and I'm willing to do the work. To, to talk to people, to walk the streets, to, to review the data and read the reports that are necessary in order to make good decisions on behalf of the people of Keene. I ask uh, for your vote both in October at the primary and on November 7th in the election. Thank you very much. My name is Bart Sapeta, and I'm running for at-large city council seat. Dear residents of Keene, my name is Bart Sapeta, and I'm running for re-election for one of the at-large seats for the city council. Since I moved here 10 years ago, I had the privilege to work and contribute to this community for a variety of ways. Serving as a co-chair of the College City Commission is one of the latest examples. I believe that community service is a way of paying it forward so that future generations, our children and grandchildren, as well as those who already contributed, continue to have an opportunity to experience the family-friendly and kind atmosphere of Keene. As a first-generation immigrant, I have always treated my presence here as a privilege and a great responsibility. I would like to offer my experience as an educator, an architect, and a public servant to work collaboratively on your behalf with the mayor, the city council, and the city staff. Here are some pressing, pressing issues that I believe need to be addressed. We need to invest in future generations, increase diversity, retain talent, match skilled workers and professionals with our employers, and attract new businesses. All that can be done by forging close collaborations between the public and private partnerships within our local economy. We need to continue creating opportunities for our senior residents to participate in intergenerational activities so they can contribute their wisdom to the larger community. We need to retain the quality of life, make our community even more welcoming, and increase opportunities for sustainability and self-reliance within the region. Through these initiatives, I believe we can grow our tax base, increase property values, thereby reducing the exposure of tax to the individuals and their families. I'm asking for your support so I can retain the at-large seat and work on your behalf. Thank you. My name is Kim Wallach. I'm running for city councilor at large. Hi, I'm Kim. I live in Keene. I've lived here since 2005 and I'm running for Keene City Councilor at large. I'm interested in serving the city of Keene. I have been serving for the last six years on the board of the Children's Music Network, which is a small international organization of children's musicians, librarians, teachers. And I've come to understand that 
when you serve on a board, you don't just serve your own agenda, but you really have to listen to and serve the needs of the organization as a whole. And sometimes that means putting aside the things that you really wanted in favor of what really is good for the whole organization. So when I think about serving on the City Council for Keene, I have that in mind. I know that sometimes the things that I might be particularly eager for, in the end I may have to give up for the greater good of the community. I'm a music teacher. I work down in Warwick and Northfield, Massachusetts, but before that I taught in Westmoreland and in Nelson and for a brief time in Harrisville. So I've been in the area since 1990. I have a daughter who's grown and um, traveling all over and I have a small dog who loves all of the kids in the neighborhood. I believe in civil discourse and in the importance of listening to people with different opinions and really thinking about what they have to say and really measuring what you say and talking calmly and listening quietly. I don't have a particular agenda for Keene. I really like it here. I think there are things we could do better and I think there are things we can explore to make our city better in the future for everyone who lives here. I'd like to look at renewable energy. I'm really concerned about our homeless population and I'd like to make sure that they have a warm place to be this winter and that we look at how to bring them inside and get them set up for a healthier life for themselves. Other than that, I'm around town. Oh, I'm usually at the farmer's market Saturday morning. I'm at the co-op. I'm at the library. I'm walking around. So if you see this and you want to ask me or talk to me and tell me what you're thinking, I'm always up for that. So thanks. My name is Mitch Greenwald. I am running as a candidate for City Council Ward 2. Good afternoon. My name is Mitch Greenwald. I am the current Ward 2 City Councilor. I'm running for re-election. It's a four-year term. I'm a resident of, of Keene. I've lived here since 1970. My wife and I came here to go to Keene State College and we loved the town and we grew to uh, grow some roots here and we're still here 47 years later. We live at Peg Shop Road, again, uh, with my wife. I've raised three children, two of which now live here in Keene. I have five grandchildren. I make my living as a real estate broker and as a property owner. I own Greenwald Realty. I own several buildings downtown. I employ five people regularly, and we swell up to 20 seasonally. I mention this for several reasons. I think it's very important to realize that I, too, am a property taxpayer. Every time I'm voting for something, I'm considering the sting of property taxes. I know how it hurts, and I have to weigh that against what's the benefit to the community. It's very important that we all bear this in mind and never forget that we are working for the general public. As an employer, I'm in daily contact with my employees, and as a property owner and real estate agent, I'm daily in contact with the public. I'm hearing what are the needs and the desires of the public, what are their frustrations, and I'm dealing with the city uh, in the public works uh, area, the fire department and the police department pretty much regularly. So I understand what it's like on both sides of, of the process. I've served on the city council since 1994. The city council process is really quite confusing and it takes a while to understand how it works and to be able to work within it to accomplish things. And again, I've done this since 1994. I've been on all of the different committees, the Finance Committee, Municipal Services, and the Planning Committee. I understand how the city department works, and I understand the employees. It's very important to realize that we have very dedicated employees who are really working to try to do a good job for the public. Uh, in my position as a real estate agent in my office downtown, I'm constantly receiving input from the public and also from city employees. I hear the, the news, both it's good and the bad. Currently, I chair the Finance Organization and Personnel Committee. It's a big, big topic. 
Uh, primarily, in summary, we deal with the business functions of the city. This is the committee that works with the city manager and the city staff to develop the city budget and the capital improvements budget. Very complicated, it's a plan uh, that is developed, it's very comprehensive. My goal and philosophy with the budget and also the finance committee in general is inclusion. I wanna hear from everyone. I wanna hear from every city councilor. I wanna hear from my committee certainly and I wanna hear from the public. I try and I think I'm pretty successful at not directing the debate for a personal agenda. Most recently, I chaired the Economic Development Committee. This was a special committee set up by the mayor. I set a very tight timeline for this because uh, I get very frustrated with committees that go on and on and on, and maybe they accomplish a report. But we set a strict timeline of less than six months. Uh, we developed an awareness that the only way that we are going to maintain the level of services that we do in the city of Keene and not increase property taxes is that we have to increase our tax base. To do that, we need to attract new employers. We need to take care of our existing employers. And in order to do this, uh, we need to attract affordable housing. And as all knows, there's certainly a lot of new housing under construction. We need to uh, attract a younger workforce. We need to decrease the bureaucracy and process. And basically, we need to show that Keene is open for business. It's very, very important that we get, communicate that. We are not obstacles, we are open for business. So in closing, I'd like to thank the residents of Keene for allowing me to contribute to the city I love for the past years and would appreciate the votes that will allow me to serve an additional four years. I am available in my Main Street office to speak with residents, staff, at any time about anything, and I encourage you to stop by. Again, I would appreciate your vote. So. Thank you very much. I'm Randy Filio and I'm running for a Keene City Council at large. Hi, I'm Randy Filio. I'm running for a Keene City Council at large, uh, which is a citywide position. Um, for those of you not familiar with me, I am a lifetime Keene resident, born and raised here, went to public schools um, in Keene, uh, spent four years in the military. Yeah, after that, upon returning, uh, raised a family and have been here ever since. The uh, reason that I'm running for re-election is simple really. Uh, I'd like all residents to have the city that I remember growing up in. Um, obviously things have, have changed over the years as they've changed in many communities, but Keene is still a very fun, friendly, safe place and it can always be a little bit better and as a city councilor I'm, I'm hoping that we can improve on things. Um, like I said, I want Keene to be a safe friendly, fun, affordable city. Uh, so how do we get to that point? Well, let's talk about that. Uh, it's been clear that I've made some comments lately on, on safety, particularly in the uh, downtown area. Um, there's no question that we need to clean up some drug dealing. We need to clean up some aggressive panhandling. Um, and we need downtown to be safe for everybody. And sometimes it might be reality, sometimes it might be perception from some. Uh, but there's no question that we have some issues that we need to um, clean up. You know, how do we do this? Well, we need more policing downtown, obviously. A little bit uh, easier to do than, than say because budgets are tight right now. But nonetheless, I'd like to work with the council and with the uh, chief of police to see if we can get some more patrols downtown to discourage the aggressive panhandling and honestly to discourage the, um, some of the drug dealing that's going on downtown. Now, I want to make it clear that I am absolutely in favor of doing everything we can for our residents that have addiction problems. Um, but with that said, I will have, and I'd like to see the city have, a zero tolerance policy for those convicted of dealing drugs in our streets. Simply no place for that, and um, that's probably uh, number one for getting our streets cleaned up. Um, as far as being a, a friendly city and, um, and a fun city, well, I go back to question one and clean that up and, and those two issues take care of themselves. Once your city or the perception of the city is to be safe, it becomes a much more fun, friendly community. Obviously, we have a lot of downtown events going on. Um, we need to continue those um, and get more people involved as we can. You know, the Colonial Theater is our anchor downtown and uh, it makes it a, a, a fun, um, friendly uh, downtown. But once again, we get some issues that we need to clean up and um, 
as a councillor, that's going to be one of my priorities, is, is working with the council, working with the mayor, and getting our streets um, cleaned up to the point where everybody feels safe um, walking downtown again. Um, as far as affordability, well, that's the million dollar question or the multi-million dollar question. Obviously, our city needs to work on economic development. We, we need more businesses to come in. But not only that, we need to be aggressive on keeping the businesses that we already have here stay here. Because every successful business we have here, you can be sure other communities are looking to bring them into their community. So it's a double-edged sword. We need to try to bring in other businesses. We need to, treat, need to keep the ones um, that we already have here. It's very important. And so we need to be uh, very friendly when it comes to development. Keene has had a perception over the years of not being business friendly. We're working on changing that. We need to be much more aggressive on, uh, on changing our personality to be business friendly. Um, now, as far as uh, councillors, including myself, we need to be more conscious with the spending that we obviously do. Uh, we, we have to look at every issue um, and make sure that anything that we're spending uh, is absolutely needed. We just can't be frivolous with taxpayers' money. With that said, we also need to demand that the state of New Hampshire send the monies that are owed to us, including uh, rooms and meals. Um, and we also need to demand from the state and from the federal government funding for the opiate addiction. I was a former firefighter and EMT for the city of Keene for five years. And back in those days, in the early 2000s, you know, we might get one or two calls a night. Now our fire and police run 24-7 handling the open addiction. It's, it's crushing the budgets and it's also forcing our police and firefighters to retire at an earlier age and they're harder and harder to replace. So if I'm elected to Keene City Council again, the one thing you have, my word is, I will work as hard as ever and maybe even harder than before to make Keene the fun, safe, affordable city that it should be. Thank you and if anything else, please vote. My name is Robert Call, and I'm running for the Office of Mayor in Keene, New Hampshire. Hello, my name is Robert Call, and I'm currently seeking the Office of Mayor in Keene, New Hampshire. I grew up in and around Nashua most of my life, and I moved to Keene in March of 2016. Uh, in moving, I brought my significant other and his small business to Keene. My significant other runs a, shop, a small uh, shop that sells specialized hardware that works with the Linux operating system. In my career, I am a soft, I'm a software engineer uh, who fo major, focuses on uh, embedded, uh, embedded devices, small devices like watches, toasters, routers, mostly routers, and other types of infrastructure. Uh, I've worked for several different nonprofits and have worked in the capacity of writing free software for some of those nonprofits. Free software is software that gives users the freedom to uh, control their devices by giving them and the community the user readable sources so that the community at large can uh, make changes to the software and fix and patch security holes. Uh, I am running for the office of mayor because I care about Keene. I've always wanted to move to Keene and I'm glad that I had the opportunity to do so in 2016. Uh, sadly, it took me a lot longer than I wanted to. I wanted to move to Keene a lot earlier. Uh, there are several issues in the community that need to be addressed that the current city government is, is not doing. Uh, these are problems that are either being ignored or the issues being densed around. Uh, as mayor, I would like to, I want to engage with the community and actively seek out what problems people in the community are having. Uh, I would like to see the government be more transparent. Uh, while the city site has lots of great things on it, including city council meetings, meeting notes, uh, it still has a ways to go in terms of transparency. Uh, there are issues in regards to uh, certain projects and things the city is doing that are not being published on the city website. Uh, the rezoning project on Marlboro Street is a prime example. On the page, it gives a phone number to a voicemail box. 
that I, you will be lucky if you actually get through to someone to actually get details about the project and uh, what, what the progress is being made on that. I also would like to see Keene be an environment for smaller businesses that have room to grow. We have way too many service jobs and uh, not enough diversity in terms of employment opportunities for the citizens of Keene. I also would like to redu uh, make to make this a favorable environment. I would like to we need to reduce taxes. Uh, a lot of the people that I've spoken with in the community thus far are either at risk of losing their homes. They can't do certain repairs that require to require them by code to do so, or they're just leaving because it's it's getting way too expensive. Uh, we need to address this problem because our population hasn't really changed too terribly much in the last 10 or more years. We need lower taxes. We, we can't be spending all of these funds in hopes that it will having all of these bells and whistles will actually attract people to the area. What will attract the people to the area is if we have a nice body of people who are here and are willing to stay. Uh, as mayor, we need, I will do everything within my power to work within the community and to advocate for solving these problems. Thank you. Hello, my name is Todd Rogers and I'm running for Councilor at Large. Hello, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Todd Rogers. I'm running for Councilor at Large in our city. Uh, I've been developing a transitional workforce program for the troubled youth and the homeless for many years now. I realize the uh, plight and the trouble of our city. We're growing in leaps and pounds, le leaps and bounds, and we need, um, you know, it's wonderful that we're growing in leaps and bounds, but we also need a little oversight for what do we do when we're done. I believe that there's many opportunities in the way that we can recreate our community to be uh, a better function. We can make a name for ourselves in, in how we do things. We live in the north, the southwest region of the state, uh, and we've got a wonderful community already. I just think that we need to learn to come together, work as a team, not against each other, and I am as I said, I am born and raised right here in the city. I grew up on the east side right downtown. I see what's going on. I've been all over the place. I don't want our city to go down a road that every other city has gone. We have a unique set of opportunities in our community right now that if we were to take and try to think outside of the box, come together as a community with all the resources that we have in place, I believe that we can come up with affordable solutions to cut taxes, refix our housing stock to have better tax revenues, and create job opportunities. And we can't point fingers at any one person. It has got to be done by the community. It's not an easy job. So I really feel with all of the nonprofits and the helping community that we have, that if we do join together and we come and think outside of the box, as I said, there's many opportunities for making a name for ourselves in the state. We're already well known for our caring and giving status. All we have to do now is focus on stability, employment opportunities, and lower taxes. Thank you.